There are two basic types of parachute deployment systems used in water rockets today. The radial deploy type ejects the parachute from the side of the rocket and is considered the most reliable type because it ejects the parachute perpendicular to the oncoming air if the rocket is in motion while deploying. The other type is the axial deploy type which ejects the parachute from the tip of the rocket and is often preferred because it can deploy a much larger parachute or a bulky payload. It does, however, need to be strong enough to overcome the resistance of any air oncoming towards the rocket. In this tutorial, we will show you how to make a new type of deploy system which combines the best aspects of both types. This new system we have named the U.S. Water Rockets Hybrid Parachute Deployment System. The hybrid deploy system is based on our previously released radial deploy system, which you can see described in detail in our previous video. Watch the video link below to familiarize yourself with the design before you proceed. To build the hybrid deployment system, you will still need a payload compartment. In this case, it can be made from either the bottom or the top of a cut bottle, whichever you prefer. As with the design of our radial deployment system, a core flute bulkhead is used to hold the release mechanism in place inside the payload compartment. In this example, we are using a launch pad altimeter with servo deploy as the release mechanism. You can build this altimeter yourself from the free plans linked to in this video's description below. For this design, the payload compartment is not directly attached to the rocket. Instead, it is attached to the rocket using a short piece of parachute shroud line. This connects the two sections together. The parachute's main shroud line is connected to the bottom of the payload compartment. The parachute is folded and packed into the space between the bottom of the payload compartment and the top of the rocket. A parachute cover is fabricated and tied to the middle of the main parachute shroud line, just like the method used in our radial deploy system. All of the parachute shroud lines are tucked in behind the parachute and enclosed by wrapping the parachute cover around the gap between the rocket and the payload compartment. A rubber band is attached and wrapped in a spiral pattern around the parachute cover. The tightly wound rubber band will squeeze the parachute cover very tightly and friction will hold the payload compartment to the top of the rocket. The hybrid deploy mechanism is now complete. This slow motion video explains how the system operates. When the rubber band is released, it rapidly uncoils and releases the resistance on the parachute cover. The payload compartment is now free to fall away and the parachute is free to emerge. This demonstration launch shows the system in operation during a test flight. Once the rocket has reached apogee, the launch pad altimeter will automatically activate the deploy servo. This releases the rubber band holding the parachute cover closed. Now the payload compartment can fall away and the parachute will eject. Notice how the electronics in the payload compartment are no longer directly attached to the top of the rocket. In the event of a parachute malfunction, the rocket will still crash, but the electronics will still be protected from being crushed by the rocket on impact because they will not be directly underneath the rocket when it crashes. This could potentially save the payload compartment for future flights. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out some of the related videos linked below, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. We'll be glad to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. We'll see you next time.